With cage egg farming currently under the spotlight, I'm here today visiting Victorian farmer Brian Ahmed to get the real story behind caged eggs laid in Australia. Caged eggs account for over half the fresh eggs bought in Australian supermarkets and us Aussies are eating more eggs than ever before. Without caged eggs, our Australian egg industry could not meet the current demand for the affordable nutrition that caged eggs provide. So I want to have a look at a well-run cage farm and see how it works. I was born, almost born into it. I was only 10 years old when Dad decided to start farming with Mum. So you started with free range yeah. and now you've, you're, you're entirely caged? Yeah, we've moved 100% caged and the minute we went into cages we noticed a dramatic difference in a number of things. A major reduction in disease issues, parasites, mortality rates were lowered and also on the food safety aspect we found that the eggs were cleaner and less risk of any diseases being carried on those eggs. There was a whole lot of benefits. Can we have a look at them? Yes, of course we can. That's why we're here. Go inside, Holly, and have a look, and we'll see where the chickens live and where they do their work. Oh, wow. Uh, there's approximately 20,000 birds in here, yeah. and as you can see from here, the shed's running on about 22 degrees. They're all in different rows, and we have uh, four different age groups in this shed. When they first start laying, they lay small eggs, and as they get older, the eggs get bigger. Okay, we'll go down here, and I'll show you the difference between the birds. Okay. After you. Thank you. They're a little bit... Uh, aware of us now so because we're something different so they want to see what we're up to. If you go to a well-run farm the chickens will have feathers, they'll also have beaks. We beak trim them, we do not de-beak them. All we do is cut that, uh, when they're very young, that point off their nose just so they don't cannibalise each other and that happens in both free range and cage system. And it, the reason we do that is for the welfare of the bird. Obviously their eggs are, have popped out from here. Yeah. These uh, cages they're on a slide incline oh, okay. and they roll down to this wire so they don't roll all the way from the top to the bottom and break. Tell me about the, the food they're eating. Well they've got food 24-7 here in the feed troughs. The hoppers oh. will go up and down <laughs> the home. They think you're stealing it off them. <laughs> yeah. right? What so have you got in there? What we've got is a balanced diet. Yeah. We've got a nutritionist that's formulated a diet for it so it's a combination of wheat, oats, barley, all the vitamins they need. We do not add hormones or antibiotics and things like people apply to So I'm glad you mentioned antibiotics or hormones. Yeah. So there's obviously that perception as well that these chickens do have all that in there. Uh, in this system, we have no need for antibiotics or hormones because they don't get sick. You know, critics might would say that they're in cages. Um, how, do you, how do you respond to those comments? Well, they are in cages, Holly. I'm not going to argue that. And I'm comfortable with the systems that I use uh, and I'm confident with what we're doing. There's a lot of factors that determine welfare and uh, I know the groups focus on behaviour. And what people uh, aren't told is that there are other factors which this system outperforms the other two production systems. There's fear, there's stress, there's discomfort, there's hunger. This is the best system by far. And because of this system, we've got affordable food for every Australian. We're getting better production, we're getting cheaper eggs and it makes it affordable for everyone. Innovation and technology play a huge part in modern cage egg farming. With all farmers looking at their carbon footprint, research has shown that cage egg farming has one of the lowest carbon footprints of the main protein foods. The inputs aren't huge and the end result is a high protein product that can feed a lot of people economically. Brian, how many eggs do you produce a day from that one shed we were interested in? Well, we just come out of the shed, you saw there's around 20,000 birds in that shed, so it produces around 18,000 eggs a day. And all the first quality eggs, because they get separated into different sizes and get packed and get distributed out to the supermarkets, all within a, a 48 hour period. You're keeping up with technology, you're constantly looking at new things. What, what can be improved in, in your cage egg system? Look, we as farmers are continually improving and we want to improve the welfare, the, the production systems, the whole lot. Our industry researches all the time, so as long as it's science-based 
as farmers, we want to improve. We want to do better things for our animals. Whether it's to larger cages or enriched cages, we must stick to the science. We don't want to go backwards. We want to move forward in our industry. For some people, the image of hens in cages doesn't sit right. When we lift our eggs off the supermarket shelf, we want to know that the animals that provide for us are well cared for and the food is safe to eat. The question of how we feed everyone and manage the inherent animal welfare issues all at the same time is an ongoing one.